Welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, React Redux Thunk. So let's get started. Uh, basically what you can do is uh, search for React on my website and uh, select uh, one of the videos. And when you come down you will see there is a package called Redux, Redux Thunk. This is the one I want to talk about today. And uh, you can obviously read uh, more about it but the idea is that I can kind of give you this information. So what, what it is, is thunk essentially means is that uh, you are able to think and uh, do an action in an async way. So right now I have an example where I have a, just a regular function which is an action uh, which gets called whenever I uh, essentially flip this so you can see it will come and break in this function. So that's all well and good. So what we want to do is change it to an async function where it uh, probably does a fetch uh, from some website and does some other things and so be able to do that we need to easy way to do is to use uh, Redux Thunk. So let's get started and see what all we need to do. So I will keep this username function just as is. So what you can do here is uh, when you apply the middleware you want to apply the middleware thunk from Redux thunk. So I think I had done that before. So let me see if I can get it back. Okay. So what you can do is you can apply the middleware thunk uh, and uh, then you will be able to write this as a function which returns a function instead of just returning just like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, copy this function here. And I will change to this to non thunk username, for example. And so it is just basically calling this function right now. And uh, from this function, we'll call this other function uh, which returns an object for an action. So the way to do this would be uh, a very simple way would be to write this so that the function itself. Uh, would basically take the name which it does already but for the return value we want to return a function so uh, essentially we can uh, write it uh, in a generic way where it takes two parameters dispatch and get state and then it has to be a function so we can convert this into a function And the way to uh, do this is uh, this is an object so we want to essentially return something else inside this so let's just do this okay so we have our function which takes in parameter dispatch and get state uh, we can check what is in get state it's basically the state uh, that you can print for example console.log and it's a function so we will just call it and uh, we can quickly check uh, what it prints so that's one thing and once uh, we have the state, based on the state, we could do some different things. But in this case, I want to just show a fetch uh, example here, a simple one where HTTPS. And uh, we are going to call, let's say, worldwideweb.google.com. Uh, and we have to specify a mode of no course here so that uh, it does allow me to do uh, a call from local. So this is doing a fetch and when the, once the fetch is over what we will do is then we'll do it then and uh, we will dispatch the, uh, the other action that we always had and to do that we can just say uh, non thunk username and we can give it a name. So this should uh, really work. So let's just see uh, what happens here. So if you go in here and check the network, for example, clear the network and the logs. And let's say I uh, switch to a name here. Here it is going to come back here after it has gone through this function. So let me just uh, remove this for a second here. So if you uh, check on the network side, you can see that it called google.com and then it also printed the state. And you can also check the state here if you go back into the sources here it was printing the like state. So based on the state for example you could check whether the count is even or odd then you decide to fetch or something like that. So this is a very very 
power film way to do async operations. Typically what you would end up doing is you would say uh, I uh, sent a call to fetch something from one side then I'm waiting for it and while I'm waiting for it I could show a spinner and things like that. So that's a very easy way to turn your uh, synchronous uh, uh, actions into async actions. So hopefully you enjoyed this and you have a great day.